Kelly Luke and this is Shady Grove Elementary School and we are in room 12 with second graders and today we are going to do our culminating project for our food truck lesson. So boys and girls, so let's do a little review. Who can tell me how did we start this food truck lesson? What did we do in the very beginning? Who can tell me? Oscar? All right, so we did a lot of planning before we started this business. What was one of the first things that we had to do before we started planning? What was one of the first things? Taylor? We did do a survey. So we researched some food trucks. We saw some videos on food trucks. We read a book on food trucks. We saw a little PowerPoint on different types of food trucks, and then we did a survey on what kind of food trucks you all would like to visit. So we did a survey on that. What did we do next after our survey? Thomas, what did we do? We made like a food truck like we sketched it out. So then we started our planning, right. So we made sure that we had our logos. We did our logos. We designed our food trucks. We made sure that we had interesting names for our menu items. Remember that? We also did some marketing and advertising. Tell me a little bit about that. How did you learn about marketing and advertising? Yeah, we had some people from our community come in who work in, in the business world, right? Who were, that they, their job is marketing and advertising. So Mrs. Walker came in and Mr. Doherty came in and they told us about how to get our business up on the ground, what we could do to advertise it. We had also someone special from our community come in. Who remembers who came in? We went outside and we saw a what? Jillian? Yeah, we had Miss Missy come from Charm City Crab, Ch Crab Cake Food Truck. You got to see how her business started. We got to go inside the food truck. So we've been learning a lot about it. We made jingles, slogans, coupons, business cards, and today we get to actually sell our items. So we have two groups of people in here. Who can tell me what one group is going to be today and what is the other group going to be today? Price? Producers and consumers. Who can tell me what the producer's job is? What is a producer? Mark? Right. Raise your hand if you're a producer today. Excellent. What is a consumer, Nicholas? It's, it's, it's when um, the consumer is, it's when you buy stuff from the producers. Ah, excellent. Who, who are my consumers today? All right. So yesterday we had switched roles. And today, those of us that were producers are now consumers and vice versa. So just a little review just for our producers today and consumers. What is one thing our producers have to be very careful about doing today? What is one thing? Annette? Oh, you have to give the right amount of change. That's important. Consumers, do you have to check them and make sure you get the right amount of change? Yes, you want to make sure you have your right amount, the correct amount of money. What else do producers have to do? Price? We re remember yesterday we talked about tax and tip. So you are also going to make sure on your ticket that you add a dollar for tax and a dollar for tip. What else? Do you have to make sure you actually write all your what down, producers? What do you have to do? Sanjana? You have to write down your items for your food, how many of the item they are buying, right? The cost of your item, and then the total cost of your item. So then producers, after you write your ticket, on the very bottom line, make sure you put your what? Total. Your total, good. So once your total is down here, you give your ticket to your consumer. Consumers, you'll look at your ticket, You'll get your money out of your bag and you'll pay your producer. 
So here is the other thing. Consumers, you have $20 in your bag. You yesterday made sure you counted the correct amount of money. So you had your money today. You make sh today you are going to make sure that you spend as close to the $20 as you can. You want to visit as many food trucks as you can today. So don't spend all your money at one. Visit as many as you can. So when you go to a food truck festival, what's the first thing that most people do when they get there? David, what's most, the, what do most people do? Yeah, you walk around, you check out the trucks, you see their menu, see what's interesting, what catches your eye, what kind of foods you want. So we're going to do that first. You're going to kind of take your money. My consumers are going to walk around, look at the menus, check everything out. And then once they are ready, they will start purchasing. So my producers, make sure your menu is clear to see. Make sure it's facing your consumers so they can read it easily. And I'm gonna start by having my green group over here. You can take your money. If you need your calculator, you can bring it. Uh, my producers are ready with their little cash registers in case you need it to add up your totals. And green group, I want you to come up and you can start looking and seeing what you would like to purchase today. All right, can I have my blue group back here who are my consumers? What do you mean, how much? Face pizza. Ooh, just right tacos. That sounds good. How much is one? Power bite. All right, so everyone should be purchasing their items. My producers are ready to make change. Did you write down the items for her? Make sure you write all, what, what's her bill? Well, you have to write all your items down, right? I'll let him write it down so he, he can give you all, and you have to remember there's tax and tip in there too, right? So, Rouge, you have to write down what she bought and the total of the cost of the item. So I like how when we talked about yesterday, we had some options about food trucks. If there was a line, you either have to wait in it or what? Or go to the next food truck. So if there's a line, you have two decisions to make. Make sure you fill out your tickets. You include tax and tip in there. Okay, Ella, who are you buying from? I gave you with the tip. Still looking? All right, so because you can't see your menu, darling. I agree. Yeah. Oh. All right, Taylor and Jillian, where are you going next? So remember, consumers, you're trying to go to many different food trucks to spend your $20. Okay, did you write him a ticket? Yep, you have to write a ticket for everyone that comes through.
Looks like Allie's food truck is open and David's and Jackson's. So if you're in line, you can check out some of the other food trucks. Okay, watch. Ooh, I'm gonna spill your money. <laughs> Did you write a ticket? Whatever he orders, you have to write your ticket, right? Well, he's got to write his ticket first, so don't pay him until he gives you the ticket. Remember, consumers, don't pay until you get your ticket. Well, so your total, is he only getting one thing? So your total is two, right? And don't forget your tax and tip. Great job. We have some great menus to choose from. What's you buying? Ooh, delicious. Great job filling that ticket out. Fabulous. So, what's your total? Plus the two, right? <laughs> All right, you have 10 bucks. Okay, so you have your ticket. Thank you. Your, you have your change. Oh, I love the great manners that I'm hearing. Thank you for your business. You're almost out. Did you get some great items from the food truck? Oh, yeah. Some cheese pizza, some french fries. Hmm. So did you get two french fries or just one? So how come it's $5 and then they only charge you four? Who, who has this one? So Allie, remember... If your item's four, you have to add your two dollars, so that would have been six, right? Make sure, because otherwise, you're going to lose money. Oh, so what you did, I see what you said. So when you want to do that, this is the total of your item, and then your total goes down here. That makes sense, Allie. Oh my goodness, you are just breaking it in. I can't buy anything. I Boys and girls, once you have spent all of your money, you can head back to your desk. Wow, good for you. Once you've spent most of your money and you can't buy any more items, you can head back to your seat. Five dollars and it's only two dollars, and you get back three dollars. But if it's five dollars and you pay five dollars, then you wouldn't get anything back. Does that make sense? Four dollars. Four dollars. You get twenty dollars to start off. That's water free. Four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars. Okay, get it. So I'll over here. I know you. Starburger. Oh my god. Starburger is a dollar, right? So she's going to put one dollar here. I have one dollar. Alright, so you have a three dollar total. Excellent. I have one dollar. Boys and girls, I would, I like how my producers, when you are sold out, you have flipped your menu over. That way people know that you have sold out of all of your items today. Oh, got to go somewhere else. You missed it. Well, you're not supposed to. You're the consumers, right? You're not supposed to come back. You're supposed to spend all your money. You're sitting next to the producer here. How much did you make over here? $53. So. Nice. Well, that's great. Let's talk a little bit about how this lesson went. 
So our purpose was, what is the main goal of owning a food truck business? What's your main goal as a business owner? What are you trying to do? Allie? To be successful. You're trying to be successful. And how would you measure if you were successful or not in your food truck business? Thomas? If you're making more money than you spent. Ah, if you're making more money than you spent. We call that something. You're trying to make a... A profit. So what I need you to do, my food truck producers, did you make a profit today? Yes. So look at how much money you made and think to yourself, what did you start out with? All my food truck vendors started out with how much money? $20. So who made a profit? Oscar, how much money did you make? $53.90. So if you made that, is that, did you, did you already subtract the $20 that you had from the beginning? So that was, so if you had $53 and you started with $20, how much money did you make? Um, $33. Yeah, so he made a profit. Producers, raise your hand if you made a profit today. Excellent. If you had more money than you started with. So what are some things that we need to make sure of. How do food truck businesses make a profit? What do they have to make sure they're doing? Anouk, what do you think? One, you have to get people to come to your truck. Absolutely. Your prices on your menu have to be what? Shamika? Not, not too expensive, but not so cheap that you lose money on it, right? All right, so what we're going to do, boys and girls, is what we talked about yesterday, some pros and cons of our lesson when we reflected upon it. What were some great things that you saw today? What were some great things that you saw? Price? People remembering the Oh, great. So people were filling out their tickets properly. That's important when you own a business. Niall. Oh, they were complimenting each other. Love your truck. Wow, what a great menu you have. What else did you see? Sanjana? Fabulous. The whole lesson was about money. We have economics in here, but we just finished our money unit. So it was important that you charge them correctly. They gave you the correct amount of money, and you gave them the correct amount of change. Nicholas. To read the menus clearly. Is that important when you own a business? People have to be able to read it. <coughs> Thomas. Manners. Manners are very important when you own a business for consumers and producers. Thank you for coming in today and watching our show on economics and money with our food trucks. We hope you enjoyed it. Go!